Priscilla, which I did not see, by Sofia Coppola, oh. which feels like an important film to review. Real Nepo baby hours. Yeah, well, I think you she know. sort of transcended I'm Nepo. Jo- that's a joke. Nepo. She's a great director. Always historically <laughs> she, been a great director. Historically been a great director. Yeah. This, um, this film, unfortunately, did not um, excite me at all. It is a, uh, a pr- uh, kind of endorsed by Priscilla Presley. She's the executive producer. Uh, it is a film about the uh, gilded cage scenario that Priscilla Presley found herself in uh, early on in life. Uh, it, it wanders around various pontifications around um, grooming, I guess, because she was sort of uh, selected out of a crowd by uh, Presley in West Germany while he was on military service. And uh, Jacob Elordi plays Elvis uh, very unconvincingly. Uh, someone I, w- I saw it with uh, afterwards <laughs> said that like Austin Butler in uh, Baz Luhrmann's recent Elvis, he simply was too skinny to to play Elvis, which I thought was interesting. Yeah, it was always uh, a bit of a bit of a fat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should have learned into that a bit more. Mm. Um, but whatever it is, I mean, the the, the paradox of this is you 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 don't want to make a film about Elvis. You want to make a film about the person who was kind of like entranced by Elvis, uh, and yet in order to make that film, you actually have to make Elvis entrancing. You have to sort of see mm. what what she sees. Um, the magnetism. Of and you do see quite a lot of him. You actually see more of him than I think the film should probably show, given that it's about someone who spent a lot of time not with the person they were in love with. I mean, he goes on these various well, jaunts. Well, the daring film shoots you know. doesn't happen at all. You know, well, the that Priscilla could be film. interesting. Yeah, but, yeah. Priscilla just Jean Dielmaning at home, mm. basically, would be more interesting. Uh, this is made further, like, ridiculous by this ridiculous scene, uh, this absurd uh, liberal sop at the end where... Uh, she's finally decided to leave Graceland and she uh, greets, um, uh, she says farewell to the uh, the help, uh, uh, oh. uh, an old elderly black servant and um, a uh, and the grandmother of Elvis, who's also kind of basically a servant, um, and another woman who's just like a secretary or something. Uh, and she sort of gives them a warm hug and it's like, oh, these ladies understand the labor, the emotional labor. Oh. And it's like, well, you never talk to these women. I mean, there's no... Apart from the occasional knowing glance, you know, you must have spent an awful lot of time talking to these women, but the um, the script didn't. But they're not forwarded; they're just it, kind yeah. of instrumentalized at the end. Exactly, this, this kind of gracious, let them eat cake. Exactly. Yeah. Um, um, uh, good callback to Marie. Thank Antoinette. you. That was intentional. Uh, but the thing is, conference. like I said when I was talking to you, I mean, I didn't see Priscilla, but you know, there was a moment at the turn of the millennium when Sofia Coppola um, has this glorious triple jump of films. Yes. Um, you know, uh, in, including uh, Virgin Suicides and so on, which were and lost in translation, and she was genuinely weird subject of film. Strange genuinely subject, like unsettling, am, ambivalent. This isn't weird. This and film. yeah, am, ambiguous, but also really, really, really kind of pissed on the third rail of the um, of the zeitgeist. You know, these films kind of embodied a particular kind of. They were like um, pre amplification for nostalgia at a time when the, the nostalgia hadn't yet arrived mm. for that period. They kind of define that that transition into the new millennium really interestingly. In Marie and Sinet included um, in their own way they were all sexy and strange and unusual and had interesting subject matter and explored kind of power dynamics in interesting ways um, so yeah it's kind of a shame to then kind of retreat into the safe cocoon of like uh, an easy to tell biopic you know which is obviously this other Presley probably had a bit of a shit time um, and yeah and, and I'd felt this was magnetic and a bit of an asshole that's so obvious yeah, yeah. You know, that's not that you know, I'm hearing this for the first time exactly um, and unfortunately um, it probably bites into it being kind of sponsored uh, or executive produced rather by its subject it, it doesn't really give its central character much in the way of like mm. contradiction or complexity um, not that I would like it to be some kind of victim blaming thing but I mean, it's got, there's got to be more going on there than what, what we see in, mm. albeit a very uh, capable and, and compelling central performance from Kaylee Spaney. Um, yeah. But essentially, the script doesn't really give her much room to move uh, uh, other than, you know, she fancies this really famous charismatic yeah. guy who actually isn't charismatic in the film. I feel like... Uh, crisis of IP. It's a Crisis of IP film. It's a film about something you already know about um, mm. that you'll go and we see. We know very recently because Baz, Baz Luhrmann made a... a, a Odd, an odd biopic of of Elvis not that long ago, literally just last year or the year before last, you know, um, which was in in inhabit inhabiting the idea of the excessiveness of pop was actually a mm. great film. I thought it was really good. You I know, haven't seen it, but yeah, I thought it was excellent. You I'll know, take so your word for maybe it. I don't know if it's Basil Luhrmann's best. Maybe it is. It was just it inhabited the kind of strange hypnagogic space of stardom 
and the effect of stardom in a really interesting way editorially i thought i really liked it um I probably won't watch it, but no, you probably won't. I but really I think like you'd prefer. I think I would like. I definitely. I think it's, yeah. if you, if you, if it was like an even race between the two, I think you would. Oh, you would see a lot more meat on the bones. There um, was very little to um, like about Priscilla. Yeah, but it passed the time. It does pass the time. Just about, I mean, it didn't pass the time. I was like waiting for it to end. But anyway, <laughs> um, 